Yeah, look. So this is for uh, marketing something or other. Uh, I'm just going to do it in one take. I'm sure there'll be plenty of hymns and haws and pauses. Uh, so it's about my wish trip to Holland in 2009. And maybe about my CF and uh, what it was like growing up with CF. So, uh, uh, you might know now that I've had three double lung transplants, uh, with cystic fibrosis. So I find the part that people sort of hinge on is the part where I had three double lung transplants and the first 17 years of life with cystic fibrosis was kind of just, uh, something he lived with, but, uh, 17 years of of sort of aggressive cystic fibrosis because it's somewhat of a spectrum. Uh, some don't make it past a few years of age because their lungs are in such deterioration. And others can even be in their 70s and not even be diagnosed till they're 70. And they're like, oh yeah, I had a few lung issues in my life, but I didn't know I had cystic fibrosis. And they don't take any medication or pills or enzymes to deal with their... Uh, um, the cystic fibrosis, the genetic disorder. So, uh, the spectrum is pretty, pretty large. I'm on the aggressive end where, uh, basically the first two years of my life were, were, uh, uh, under a great deal of care at Chio in Ottawa. And, uh, and then, uh, at six years old, uh, sort of the annual reoccurring admissions started to happen. So it would be like two or three weeks at age six, two or three weeks at age seven. And then eight years old, it was like twice a year, so like semi-annually admissions. And then by age maybe 11, it was like quarterly, so four times a year. And then it just accumulated to most of my time was spent in the hospital by age 15, 16, 17. Uh, Oh, uh, kind of. Like, I still got out to do stuff and went to school, went to fairs and that. And, uh, anyway, and then by age 16, I was listed on the transplant list. 17th birthday occurred, and then I got my double lung transplant. The first one at age 17. So, that all being said, growing up with cystic was uh, a lot. It was a lot of admissions. I mean, just take a moment to really think about uh, what, what it was like um, with sort of 17 years going back and forth to the hospital. It wasn't just like a, a couple of clinics. It was like rigorous new treatments. Some didn't make you feel good at all. Like nauseous days and nights, lots of needles. Uh, yeah, plenty of pick lines, portacath, this side, that side, new portacath put in, uh, the BiPAP for years. Like, it was a lot that just really gets sweeped under the rug once I say I've had three, uh, transplants. So, yeah, so this fibrosis is a lot. Now, for Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, who do they give the wishes to? Uh, that can be granted. Um, it is, well, it goes to someone who has a chronic illness or their life expectancy might, or is sort of maybe likely to end before adulthood. Or, or if it's a rigorous cancer that, let's say, there's, there's a decent chance they have over, uh, overcoming, but the treatment regime is going to be really quite difficult. So, um, granting the child a wish gives them something to sort of look forward to or sort of acknowledge that, okay, if my life ended here, then I got to do this really cool thing I wanted to do 
in my lifetime. So I think it's a really, I mean, I think we can all say it's a really good program. Um, and, uh, and <laughs> my wish was, uh, the most common wish you, you might know is the, to go to Disneyland. Uh, and my wish, funny enough, was to make Mentos in Holland. So <laughs> I absolutely loved Mentos, the little mints you get uh, right before you purchase your groceries, you grab it off the shelf or at a gas station. You beg your mom to get the groceries at a young age. So that was me. I was reading the back of Mentos, all the ingredients. I was like, how do they make them so good? And, um, and uh, lo and behold, they're made in Breda, Holland. They have other factories, I believe, Pennsylvania. Uh, they have a factory, maybe Ohio. Anyway, um, they make them in a few different locations, but uh, Breda Holland is the one I wanted to go to. Not only because the Mendel's factory, but uh, uh, my mom's Dutch, so I'm 50% Dutch. And, uh, um, well, my mom has a lot of her family over in Holland, so yeah. Why not meet them? Um, we'd have lodging and stuff. So, uh, yeah. That was my wish, to go to Holland and make Mentos. So, this is a really beat up album. But I'll skim through some of the pictures and uh, explain what happened. Frozen.